So what do we have here? Adziri. So Adziri and Elder on the bottom, and that's Cortex. Uh, yeah. Just in feeble. Guess Adziri first. Try not to kill uh, the purple guy. Okay, he's dead. Let's kill the next two together. Who's next? Shaper, huh? Slam still got me because increased AoE. The 100% increase in AoE. Will that explosion get me? Surely not, right? Easy. Anything? And. Uh, nothing. Our damage is pretty good, our tank's pretty good too. A little bit weak to Fizz. It's fine though. We have Leaf Shade, so the DGN shouldn't be that bad. I gotta make sure the Taste of Hate is on for this. Bit sloppy. Let's drop the bobble up here. Okay, though. So I. Oh, I forgot to turn on the auto war cry. This gives us some healing, of course, endurance charges, which is always nice. Oh wow. Almost got killed there. Endurance charge safe? Possibly? Maybe? That was Fizz, I think.
case the hate's on just for the extra cold max res. This should be dead. Just gotta wait in the bubble. And uh, deathless. Not bad. Uh, I tried to do that challenge before. That challenge is like just really annoying to do, honestly. <laughs> Let's see if we get an eye or something good. We got absolute trash. Hey everybody, sorry for the lack of updates on the Blade Blast Dagger Detonation League starter as a miner. Um, so I finished the gear about four, I think like four days ago. Basically it took me a week to gear up fully on this build. Around 50 to 70 divs depending on the market. A lot of this stuff is self-crafted so I don't know how much it is. But it took me about 50 or 70 for the full end game gear as far as I want to push it. So the gear did what I wanted to as a league starter. Uh, we did scale it all the way to Ubers and T17s. I cleaned up the T17s I had in my maps. Um, they were not bad. Uh, we have more than enough damage and the AOE was good enough. Um, killed the Uber bosses. Um, basically did all I wanted to on this. So as far as the build goes, pretty good league starter. Like I said, it took me a week to get this gear. Um, more than strong enough. I would say that it's probably not the best scaling build though because um, this gem just doesn't scale very hard. Let's say a plus one gem level here would be like 5% damage versus 10% damage for average spell, right? Because uh, it just scales off the dagger, right? And there is no upgrade for a Volcanus really. It's just there. And because it's fire damage, it forces us into like Zoth's Blood. To have 100% uptime on Zoth's blood, and so a bunch of not that great for uh, end game gear, right? And it limits your scaling because it's fire damage, which is worse than fit, worse than cold and lightning, right? Those two, especially with their ailments, just scale way harder than um, ignite, right? So, um, pretty good build, but I would suggest you uh, just use this as a league starter. Um, Get your four void get your four void stones and then swap to something else. We could do hex blast mines or something like that. Or other mine skills is what I would suggest for this build. Um the only other option for super end game scaling I could see is making a pure fizz and cold flat damage dagger. But that's really hard and even then I just don't see the scaling to the super end game compared to the other skills. Hex Blast Mines it has auto targeting, so that's just much better compared to Blade Blast. It's just, yeah. Pretty good League Starter, but try something else when you want to invest, like, past maybe 20, 30 divs if you want to push in the end game. So, as far as positives, pretty good damage, right? We did five mines, so we're around 10 to 15 million, depending on the overlap, which is more than enough to clear. Um, decently tanky against spells, especially with the Trickster Spellbreaker node and decent evasion. So, decently tanky, but A, we lack recovery. Fizz max hit, pretty weak. So, not the tankiest build, but good enough to map, and I hit 98. So, that's good enough. So, I'll go over the tree and gems for my endgame build next. I'll go over the gems. Shield charge faster attacks, uh, Assassin's Mark there for bossing only, Divine Blessing, Inspiration, Zealotry in the Helmet, uh, a Bear Trap for extra damage, boss again only, Call to Arms, Enduring Cry, pretty high uptime Enduring Cry because we're Trickster, right? Enduring Cry lasts 30 seconds, so great addition for a 2 slot gem, gives us some Fizz Mitt and some extra resist against Exposure and uh, uh, Curses, but... Pretty worth for two slots. We have Flame Dash movement skill. Main links are Awakened Fire Pen. I never did upgrade this. You can use Inspiration here too if you're low on mana. That's what I used for a long time. I just swapped this in the end game because I had enough mana reduction that I could um, drop the Inspiration and this is just more damage. The Blade Blast, 
charge mine, trap mine damage, mine field, and high impact mine. In my gloves, we have steel skin with cast on damage taken support, detonate mines, automation, just makes it feel good. Don't play this build without that because it just feels terrible without playing with that um, combo. So basically, you turn on, it's like on walk, you attack. That's what you use for clear and when you're bossing, really. But if you have a chance to stack the mine, turn it off, and then you can stack the mines, and then turn it back on, and the mines will start exploding. Um, in my boots, we have my auras, Herald of Ash, Grace, Enlighten, and Skitterbots. And that's the gems. Let's go over the gear really quickly for my endgame version. We have the Volcanus, which is the main weapon we're building around with the skill gem. Uh, in the amulet, we have Soft Blood. That's for 100% uptime on Avatar Fire. And it gets Ash, mostly for bosses. In the helmet, we have the Vertex. Vertex is so we can do a Divine Blessing. So you can see right here, 50% less cost. Between that and Inspiration, it only costs 86 mana, so that's really strong. And it's a pretty just solid base. 300 ES, 800 evasion. Just really strong uh, helmet. In my shield, we just have a basic life, ES, spell damage, spell crit, um, shield. Nothing too special in the ring on left side. Uh, this just covers my stats, uh, some ES life, and negative 7 for the cost. Uh, other side, same thing, negative 7, basic resist, everything. Um, in this one, I use the essence for crit multi. And this is what we got. I used the Ashling on view on the prefix for life and then crafted the negative 7 mana. It is a flammability, flammability on hit ring. You do need a source of the curse on hit just for quality of life. So you can get that here or you can get influence ring or whatever or fractured or delve mod one. Get whatever you can find. In the chest, your standard suppression, big uh, flat defensive shield as trickster. Uh, nothing too special. The gloves, you really want exposure and unnerve. And the implicit's really strong. And then the rest is just stats, ES, life. My um, Stygian Vice Belt, we found Fracture Resist. And then we just use um, Deafening Essence of Zeal for the Mind Trap Throw Speed. Really strong. Um, this is just my CB Jewel. Um, belt, or I mean Boots. Um, action Speed and... Uh, Avoid ailments. We are doing avoid ailments because between the avoid ailment here and my suppression, which is 100% from ancestral visions, we get 100% ailment immunity. So that's as far as the gear goes. The flasks are taste of hate, quicksilver, jade, and granite. Um, jade, granite can be anything really. That one doesn't really matter. It's mostly these three. Life flasks to um, heal. We take damage, and that's pretty much it. So let's go over the calcs and stats for the build really quickly. Um, I like to make it pretty conservative for the build. So you can see right here, power charges, frenzy from charge mine. 10 detonated recently. That's two throws. Pretty reasonable, I would say. To get the max bonus from recently detonated. Um, Avatar fire from the amulet. Ignited from 25%, I think, from the flammability. And when you're throwing this many mines, we'll get at least one ignite, right? Chilled, shocked from sh skitter bots, exposed to fire from gloves, unnerve also, and covered Nash. That's just for bosses, you can take it on and off, but against an uber boss or a big boss, yes, it will be on most likely because they will hit you at some point. Alright, let's go over the tree. For Ascendancy, I did go one step ahead first, just so I could get chill and freeze immunity. When I league started, and then next was Swift Killer and Polymath next, and then I finally get, went to Escape Artist. In the late game, when I got my Freeze Immunity sorted out, we swapped to Spellbreaker just because it's better and gives us some tank against spells. So as far as the tree goes, I will say this is a bit questionable. We did have we did have extra points, and I need some extra tanks, so it went here. Um, standard stuff here, mines, mines, um, went down here for chill, and freeze, less res, uh, suppression node here. Between this and Spellbreaker, we 
take was this 50 63 percent less damage from spells so like i said build very tanky against spells um just crit uh spell crit mines uh reduced damage from mines is pretty strong um Uh, we actually didn't have points, but the next point probably would have been, um, what is this? This was exposure, right? Probably would have been, uh, 10% shock. That would have been really strong. Ghost stances, um, a natural instinct here. Grab the charges. Uh, curses, 40% less from crit damage. Uh, aura nodes. In our cluster jewel, we are using smoking remains and prismatic heart, which is really strong overall. In my medium clusters, we are... Doubling up on expert sabotage and guerrilla tactics. The jewel here has mine throw speed. Really important. Just get whatever stats after that. Crit multi would be really strong. Because you can see we are 100% crit cap. So I just got what I got. right? I rolled life I think. And this is what we got. And all useful stats. So I kept it. Watcher's eye is just a suppression grace. Watcher's eye. Um, the other jewel down here. right? Just... Mind throw speed, some res, life, you know, nothing too special. Damn, pop up. Anyways, um, over here, ancestral visions. Between that and my ailment avoidance, we are ailment immune. Uh, mine, mana nodes here, mana reservation, life. So we just rolled a pure defensive chest because we are a trickster. And we can get the 15% max life here because we don't have any life mods on my chest. The power charge one's pretty strong. We do have a lot of power charges and frenzy and endurance charges. So I'm pretty strong there. And we got the mastery for critical strikes do not ignite. So overall, um, that's the tree. And like you see, the DPS is 15 million, give or take, from one throw with full overlap. Obviously, um, if you're pre-stacking, you can do a lot more damage. So our burst is much higher. So even though it says 15 million, the actual damage when you're bossing is quite a bit higher since you can pre-stack mines. But I'm not going to include that because you don't always pre-stack. And yeah, so around 15 million, give or take 15 million to maybe 25 million depending on the pre-stack. But good enough damage to clear all the content I wanted to. We killed the Ubers and yeah, that's the build here. If you have any other... If, <clears throat> excuse me. If you have any other questions, just uh, message me in Discord or in comments. And thanks for watching.